Hello. Welcome to 318. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a rough couple days for the Star Citizen community. The uh, It's been three, three days since the uh, implementation of 318. The word implementation being used very loosely here. And uh, I haven't been able to play the game until now. I've got I've gotten in the game before, but I've never gotten this far. So I was able to get a contract. I was also able to spawn a ship. This might just be the beginning of our 318 journey. Pretty frustrating, obviously. There's nothing wrong with being frustrated at uh, the failed launch of 318. At the same time, you know, I think for a lot of us, it's not really surprising. Nothing particularly new here. Yes, it was catastrophic. Of course. Of course. And yes, it's disappointing that we can't play. And yes, you know, should they have done a better job? Sure, why not? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, we signed up for this. We really did, guys. We signed up for this. We signed up for the, the heartache and the trial and the difficulty. And yeah, it sucks. We couldn't play for a couple days. But that's the price we pay for groundbreaking technology. I'm not saying they're inventing the wheel or anything. I'm just saying, could it have been handled better? Of course, of course, of course. But this is the life. This is the life of the alpha tester. We've got to be prepared for this. We've got to be, you know, <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> and it, sh it should all be worth it. You know, one thing I will say, <laughs> CIG, you really need to communicate with your social media team and your uh, your advertising marketing people because it, it's kind of a <laughs> it's a little bit of a you know it's a little bit in bad taste when you're posting advertisements on Twitter and I'm seeing advertisements for the game on YouTube and they say playable now Star Citizen 318 it's like well it's not really playable now is it though <laughs> I mean it's kind of like you know I really wish I was playing the game but uh, uh, I can't and it's kind of it's kind of rude. It's kind of annoying to see Twitter posts um, advertising racing or even they're like doing giveaways on Twitter. It's like, listen, man, none of us can even spawn into the game, let alone win a race. OK, really, you really got to abandon the uh, marketing, the marketing schedule at, at some point. So right now, my fleet consists of an arrow and two gladiuses, two gladii. I started with an Avenger Titan, I CC'd that up to a gladius, and then <laughs> you guys went crazy on my referral codes, and I got another gladius as a reward for, for you guys using my referral, which is super cool. And now I have two gladii, and I'm like, what do I do with this gladii? <laughs> At some point, I'll probably CC you the second gladius, uh, up to something else. There's not really much you can see see YouTube from a Gladius. That's interesting. I, so I'm not sure what we'll do with that. But uh, and then I also have a an Argo MPUV, which is an utterly useless vehicle <laughs> for me at least. Uh, that was also from referrals. So again, thanks guys for using the referral code down in the description. If you're starting fresh, get an extra five thousand Alpha UEC using a referral code and uh, at the end of the day it doesn't matter if you use mine or use someone else's just use a referral code and get that extra cash because why not you'll notice I don't have the stock gladius guns right now well I do I, I just have an extra nose repeater instead of the gatling uh, and that's because again extra gladius means I can just take guns off that thing so this is the tracker training certificate this is like the first uh, bounty you have to do to be certified for bounty targets uh, and normally what I would do is just keep accepting and, and abandoning them until I get one in Crusader so I don't have to go all the way over here uh, but I tried that the first day at 318 and immediately it ruined my reputation and I was unable to receive more bounty contracts after that so I was kind of stuck so I'm not risking that again um, since my reputation is probably literally zero right now. I'm just going to do it. There's one more thing you guys should know. I've been live on Twitch 
pretty often recently. It's a way for me to engage with you guys a lot more. It you know makes us more of a community. I love the real-time interaction. It's just a lot more fun that way. Seeing you guys in the comments is great and all, but there's no replacement for just a real-time conversation. Real-time discussion, real-time gameplay. Long story short, head on over to the Twitch channel. Link in the description. Follow the Twitch channel. We'll freaking do it live, man. I've been over there almost every day this past week, and it's been pretty fun. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do for the start of 318 in terms of, you know, racking up cash. I'm thinking... Bunkers are going to be a good thing to do. I'm obviously going to rep, rep up my bounty targets and, and do bounties because that's my favorite PvE kind of mission to do in the game. Uh, but other than that, there's cave... I don't know if they still have those cave missions actually because those cave missions, they pay you 30 grand. You go in, you kill everybody. But the real money maker with that is that you get all the... Uh, all the enemies have uh, like ore and you can sell that ore. For lots and lots of money. Wait, where's my flare button? Holy frick. I do not know what my flares are. New stick, guys. New stick. There's a video on the channel about the new stick if you want to check it out. Gladiator. BKB. And I'm still kind of getting used to my new stick arrangement with all its new key bindings and such. Nice, that was easy. Did I soft death? Oh god! Look at that, he soft deathed. Death did. Oh frick! Again. Again. We're getting used to it. Oh frick! That's what happened. My cruise control is on somehow. Let me check that. I think I just misclicked. <laughs> I misclicked the cruise control. I'm like, why is this so difficult? <laughs> See what I'm talking about? This is what happens when I can't play the game. If it wasn't for all the issues with the launch of 318, I'd be having a really good time right now. And uh, I am having a good time right now. It's just, it's, it's still the baggage of the release is still weighing on me. And I need to just drop it because screw that. Like, why have a bad time when you could have a good time? So, okay, do this with me, guys. Do, do it with group meditation here. I'm just gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna imagine the luggage of baggage. Yours might be the size of a man purse. It might be the size of a 90-gallon a luggage case. I don't know. But whatever Star Citizen baggage you have, just let it. Just, just take it off. Drop it into the gutter right there and just let it be. Forget about it. It's gone. Let's do this. With my fresh mindset in the bag, let's start kitting out our ships and get ready to make some freaking money here. I can remember where the pads on Everest Harbor are. Man, look at that persistence. Look at all these empty ships. <laughs> Definitely needed that in the verse. <laughs> hey, hey, that's baggage. Stop it. I'll buy three attrition threes. I'll put them on this Gladius, and then I'll put the extra Panthers on the other Gladius. Uh, that way I just have two gladius gladii that are fully kitted, hopefully. The reason we're buying weapons before components is because I'm really just going to go back to Crusader and stay there for a while and just do bounties. I'm not really worried about my quantum drive or my shields right now or any of that stuff. But what I do want is laser repeaters so that I can just stay out for a while and do bounties without having to refuel, restock, and all that stuff. Like, yeah, at some point we definitely do need to uh, kit out our ships with all the proper components, but the first things first, that's the guns. I love a good attrition equipped arrow. Hmm, I just, I'm just such a freaking arrow fanboy. Let's be honest. I'm really hoping it's working for all of you guys now. What, I, what I'm assuming is going on and the reason it's working for me so I say well, but it's obviously got some issues at this point is because I'm on at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning. So it's like it's probably because there's no one else on right now, which I will take it. All right, we've got some guns. I'm not really sure where my Panther repeaters went. OK, 318 was worth it for one reason. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many MFDs I can see right now in the arrow. Count them. Four, dude. Freaking four. Because usually your view is like this. 
in the arrow. This is your view in the arrow. That sucks. But now, let's go, dude, let's go. And you know why that is? Because they increase the FOV. So make sure you go in your graphics settings and go down and max out your FOV if you feel like it, if you want to. You don't have to. But I want to see all my MFDs, man. Let's go. All right, we're back in Crusader. We're in the beloved arrow. Let's kill some people, man. Let's do it. I'm still getting used to this stick, man. It's so stiff. It's like, it takes a good amount of effort to actually move this stick around. Oh, <laughs> what the frick? I barely touched him. How many flares do I have to put out on this dude? Nice. Let's full kill him. Whoa! A little puff. <laughs> A little M50 puff there. $4,500. And so it begins, ladies and gentlemen. The first bounty earnings of 318. It's in the bag. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. It feels good. It, it does actually feel really good. Now that we're in, now that we're playing, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited. Let's freaking grind, bro. I'll see you guys out in the verse. Good luck. Hopefully you can get in. Twitch channel, Discord. Oh, what's that other thing called? Referral code? All in the description. Check it out. I'll see you guys later.